hello guys once again welcome back to another android application development tutorial in this video we are going to learn about how to working with room database in your android application before going to create an example of a room database you must have some theoretical concepts about how to working with a room database so here i create a simple presentation from this presentation you can get the basic concepts of how to implement a room database in your android application so now we can start the presentation. Room provides an abstraction layer over SQLite to allow Fluent database access while harnessing the full power of SQLite. There are three major components for Room database. First one is a database class. Second one is an entity. An entity is nothing but a table in a Room database. Third one is a data access object. The data access object may be an abstract class or an interface that contain possible methods for database access. So now we can learn about what is the purpose of database class. The database class contains the database holder and serves as the main access point for the underlying connection to your app's persisted relational data. It must be an abstract class that extends room database. It must have an annotation called database with two annotation properties entities and version. The entities represents tables in your database and version represents your database version. It contains an abstract method that has zero arguments and return an object of data access object class. A data access object class is nothing, a class with annotation data access object. At the runtime, you can acquire an instance of the database by calling room.database builder or room.in memory database builder. So, here is a simple example of database class. <coughs> a database class always annotated with annotation database. And that an annotation must have two properties first property is entities second property is version so here user.class is a table in your database actually it is a class that class represent a table in your database and version is your database version and this must be an abstract class that extends room database and this class contain an abstract method that return an object of data access object class here user dao is the data access object class so now we can learn about what do you mean by entity an entity represent a table in your database an entity class must be annotated with the annotation at entity by default room uses the class name as the database table name if you want the table have a different name then you have to set the table name property for the entity annotation by default a room creates a column for each field that is defined in the entity class similar to the table name property a room uses the field names as the column names in the database if you want a column to have a different name and add the Add to column info annotation to that field. Each entity must define at least one field as a primary key. Even when there is only one field, you still need to annotate that field with the add primary key annotation. So here is a simple example of entity class. So here user is an entity class that means uh, this class represents a table in your database so this is a table in your database because uh, so you have to annotate this class with annotation at entity so here uh, every entity class must contain a primary key field if there is only one field you have to specify that field as a primary key so here in this class uh, we have an integer called the user id and that is a primary key and here we have a second field called the first name so here for the second string variable here i use an annotation called the column info and for the column info annotation here we use a property called the name that means uh, in this table 
that means here the table name is user in this table first column name is user id second column name is this one first name but here uh, our variable name is first name if you want a different column name then you have to use the column info annotation and you have to set the column name as the property of column info okay and here we have a second column called the uh, last name and this is the column name in our table and you have to specify the getter and setter methods for these variables because uh, room need to access all these variables and final one is data access object class to access your app data using the room persistence library you work with the data access objects or data or DIOS. This set of objects forms the main component of a room as each data access object includes methods that offer abstract access to your app's database. A data access object can be either an interface or an abstract class. Room create each data access object implementation at compile time. The data access class must be annotated with the annotation at DAO. This class contains all the possible database access methods. Here is a simple example of data access object class. So here uh, it is an interface. Here the class name is my DAO. Uh, this is a data access object class. So you have to use the annotation DAO. And here uh, we have a different method. So the first method is for the database insertion. That's why here we annotate that method with the annotation insert. And here the second method uh, retrieve all the information from the table. Here the table name is users. And here we use the annotation query. And we have to specify the query in, inside the query annotation. And this method return the list of object. Uh, this method is for delete a particular user from the database. Uh, a room delete a particular <laughs> information based on the primary key field. And here we have another method for uh, update a particular user information. So this method delete a particular user. So we annotate uh, with the annotation at to delete. And this one uh, perform an update operation. So we have to uh, annotate. Uh, with the annotation update so this is about uh, room database I know if you are a beginner in room database uh, this one little bit confusing but don't worry in the very next video I'm going to create a complete example of a room database so from the next video that means from the example you will get a clear idea about how to implement a room database uh, in your Android application for getting more Android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode